What if I told you that you could run your own private version of ChatGPT right on your PC with zero internet connection, unlimited access to powerful open source models like DeepSeek and Llama, completely free? But before we start downloading the model, the real question is, why run a private LLM when we already have ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude? Well, think about this. Your conversations aren't end-to-end -end encrypted. Are you really okay with every single conversation you have with AI being stored on someone else's servers forever? Think about it. You're sharing your ideas, your problems, maybe even sensitive business information, and it's all sitting in a database somewhere that you have zero control over. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to build your own private AI assistant that's available 24 seven, works offline, and never sends your data anywhere except your own hard drive. Let's get into it. All right, let's get this thing installed. I'm gonna head over to the official website. That's nutstudio.imyphone.com. Right away, you can see their main value proposition. Install any local LLM for free with just one click. That's exactly what we're looking for. Scrolling down, they highlight the key features. One click local deployment, supports 29 plus AI models, including DeepSeek, Llama, and Mistral. Complete privacy, everything runs locally. No internet required after setup. I like that they're being upfront about the benefits. Now let's grab the installer. I'll click try it now and select Windows. While installer is downloading, let's talk about what you'll need. First, for system requirements, you'll want at least eight gigabytes of VRAM, though 16 gigabytes is better. The AI models will download range from one gigabyte to 30 gigabytes plus, so make sure you have some free disk space. A decent GPU helps too, but you don't need anything crazy. One important note, we will need internet for the initial download of models, but after that, everything runs completely offline. Okay, downloads complete. Let's run the installer. First thing it asks for is to agree to the license agreement. Pretty standard stuff. I'll check that box. Next, we get installation options. By default, it wants to install to program files, which is fine for most people. But I'm going to customize this and install it on my E drive, since I have more space there for the AI models we'll be downloading. Let's click on the install button. It will take some time depending on your internet speed. I will be right back after it completes downloading. And we're done. The installation is successful. Let's fire it up and see what we're working with. So here's our first look at the Nut Studio interface. We're greeted with a little onboarding guide. Let's walk through it. All right, now this is interesting. Nut Studio is proactively suggesting a model based on my system's configuration. It's recommending Quen 3 1.7b. This is a great feature for beginners who might not know where to start or what their system can handle. We have two options view more models or install model. I'm curious to see the full list, so let's click on view more models. Okay, this looks like the model marketplace or browser within Nut Studio. At the top, we have a search bar if you're looking for a specific model. Then we have tabs for all models and my models. My models will show what we've already downloaded. Looking at the all models list, we can see quite a few options already. We've got Quen 3 1.7b, which was recommended, DeepSeek R1 1.5b, Gemma 2B, Quen 330B, that's a much larger one, DeepSeek R1 14B, and if we scroll, there are likely more pages. So since Nut Studio recommended Quen 3 1.7B and it shows as available, let's start with that one. It's a 1.40 gigabyte model. I'm gonna click the install button. And there it goes. The key thing to understand is that smaller models run faster, but might not be as capable while larger models are more powerful but need more resources. For most people starting out, the 1 to 8B parameter models are perfect. Okay, the download and installation for Quen 3 1.7B is complete. That was pretty painless. We get a confirmation. The installation is successful. Do you want to apply this model right now? Let's go ahead and click yes. And just like that, we're back in the main chat interface. You can see at the top here, it now indicates that Quen 3 1.7B is the active loaded model. This is great, super clear. On the left-hand side, we have our chat panel. Currently, it shows default chat. If we wanna start a new conversation, we can click the plus new chat button. This works much like the chat history in ChatGPT or LM Studio, allowing you to keep different conversations organized. The main chat area is very clean. We have a prompt from the AI. Okay, 
Finally, let's see if this model even works or not. Let's try something simple, like what is the capital of France? Now, one thing I want you to know is that Quen3 is a thinking model. That means it thinks before answering, just like OpenAI's O series models. Unlike ChatGPT, here you can actually see the model's raw thought process. It's totally uncensored. Here's what the model was thinking before it gave me the answer. Okay, the user is asking for the capital of France. I need to provide the correct answer. Let me think. France's capital is Paris. I should make sure there's no confusion with other capitals. The answer should be straightforward. No need for extra information since the question is direct. Just state Paris clearly. The capital of France is Paris. Now let's ask it to write a Python code that prints, I love Paris. Okay, looks like Quen gave us the correct code. Now, if we had downloaded multiple models, this dropdown at the top here would allow us to switch between them on the fly for different chats. And it's really important to remember everything we're doing here, the model inferencing, the chat interactions, is happening entirely on my local machine. Once this Quen3 model was downloaded, I could disconnect from the internet and NutStudio would continue to function perfectly. This means my data, my prompts, my conversations, they all stay private on my computer. There are no API calls to external servers, no data being sent to third parties for processing. And because it's local, the latency is incredibly low. Responses are generated as fast as your hardware can process them without the delays you sometimes experience with cloud-based AI services. This is a massive advantage of local LLMs, and NetStudio makes accessing this benefit very straightforward. So there you have it, a comprehensive first look and tutorial for NetStudio. My overall impression, it absolutely delivers on its promise of making local LLMs incredibly easy to access and use. The one-click installation for models, the clean interface, and the local offline operation are huge wins. Now, if you're even slightly curious about running your own private AI, completely offline, no internet, no spying, then do yourself a future favor and click the link in the description or the pinned comment. Nut Studio makes it ridiculously easy to get started. One click and you're in. Download it now, try it out, and experience what true AI freedom feels like. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.